Palbociclib Palbociclib is a medication used to treat breast cancer. It is a type of drug called acyclin-dependent kinase CDK, inhibitor. Palbociclib works by blocking the activity of certain enzymes that promote the growth and division of cancer cells. Palbociclib is typically used in combination with other cancer treatments. They include hormone therapy or chemotherapy and is approved for the treatment of advanced or metastatic breast cancer. Palbociclib is a cancer drug developed by a team of scientists at the pharmaceutical company Pfizer. The drug was discovered and developed by a team led by Dr. Charles L. Sawyers, a prominent oncologist and researcher. He currently serves as the chair of Human Oncology and Pathogenesis Program at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. Drug class, antineoplastic agent, substances that inhibit or prevent the proliferation of neoplasms. Neoplasm is a new and abnormal growth of tissue in a part of the body, especially as a characteristic of cancer. Types of breast cancer There are several types of breast cancer, including 1. Invasive ductal carcinoma This is the most common type of breast cancer, accounting for about 80% of all cases. It starts in the ducts and invades the surrounding tissue. 2. Invasive lobular carcinoma This type of breast cancer starts in the lobules and invades the surrounding tissue. It accounts for about 10 to 15% of all breast cancer cases. 3. Ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS. This is a non-invasive form of breast cancer that is limited to the ducts. It is considered a precancerous condition. 4. Lobular carcinoma in situ, LCIS. This is a non-invasive form of breast cancer that is limited to the lobules. It is considered a precancerous condition. In situ is Latin for in place or in position. In medicine, it may also mean localized. The term is used in both surgery cases and cancer diagnosis and treatment. 5. Inflammatory breast cancer. This is a rare and aggressive form of breast cancer that causes inflammation and redness in the breast. 6. Triple negative breast cancer. This is a subtype of breast cancer that does not have receptors for estrogen, progesterone, or HER2. HER2 stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2. It is a gene that makes a protein found on the surface of all breast cells. It is involved in normal cell growth. Genes are the basic units of heredity, passed down from your mother and father. HER2 Positive Breast Cancer This is a subtype of breast cancer that has too many copies of the HER2 gene which can lead to the overproduction of the HER2 protein. 7. Metastatic breast cancer This is cancer that has spread to other parts of the body such as bones, lungs, liver and brain. Cancerous growth can spread into other parts of the body which is called metastasis. Treatment options Treatment options for metastatic breast cancer include chemotherapy, hormone therapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Surgery and radiation therapy are generally not used to treat metastatic breast cancer, but may be used to relieve symptoms such as bone pain or to reduce the size of a tumor that is causing a problem. The choice of treatment will depend on the specific type of breast cancer, as well as the patient's overall health and preferences. A team of specialists, such as a medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, and surgeon, will work together to develop a treatment plan. The successful cure rate for metastatic breast cancer is generally low as it has already spread to other parts of the body and is more difficult to treat. According to the American Cancer Society, the five-year survival rate for women with metastatic breast cancer is about 22%. However, survival rates vary depending on the individual's specific circumstances and the stage of the cancer when it is first diagnosed. The cure rate for palbociclib in the treatment of metastatic breast cancer is not well defined as metastatic breast cancer is considered incurable and treatment is focused on prolonging life and improving quality of life. However, studies have shown that palbociclib in combination with letrozole can significantly improve progression-free survival in postmenopausal women with ER plus slash her 2 metastatic breast cancer. The overall response rate 
ORR, was approximately 40%. Mode of action Palbociclib is a selective inhibitor of cyclin-dependent kinases 4 and 6, CDK4-6, which are proteins that play a role in cell division and growth. By inhibiting these kinases, palbociclib blocks the progression of the cell cycle, preventing cells from dividing and ultimately leading to cell death. This makes it a useful treatment for certain types of cancer, such as breast cancer. Absorption, Distribution and Excretion Palbociclib presents a linear pharmacokinetic profile and its peak plasma concentration was observed 6 to 12 hours after oral administration. Bioavailability The oral bioavailability is reported to be at 46% with a steady state reached after 8 days and a median accumulation ratio of 2.4. The absorption of palbociclib is significantly reduced under fasting conditions. And hence, food intake is recommended when this drug is administered. Route of Elimination the main route of elimination of palbociclib is through feces after hepatic metabolism, while renal clearance seems to play a minor role accounting only for 17.5% of the eliminated dose. Volume of Distribution The mean apparent distribution of palbociclib is 2,583 liters, which suggests that palbociclib penetrates extensively into peripheral tissues. Clearance, the mean apparent oral clearance of palbociclib is of 63.1 liters slash H. Metabolism or metabolites. Palbociclib is mainly hepatically transformed. Biological half-life, the mean plasma elimination half-life of palbociclib is 29 hours. Majority of the dose eliminated in feces was metabolites. Side effects. The most common side effects of palbociclib include fatigue, nausea, diarrhea, low white blood cell count, low red blood cell count, low platelet count, loss of appetite, mouth sores, hair loss, rashes, inflammation of the nose and throat, inflammation of the lungs. Less common side effects include severe low white blood cell count, neutropenia, which may increase the risk of infection. Severe low red blood cell count, anemia, which may cause fatigue and weakness. Severe low platelet count, thrombocytopenia, which may increase the risk of bleeding. Liver problems, inflammation of the pancreas, inflammation of the stomach. It is important to note that these side effects may vary from person to person and some side effects may be more severe than others. Consult your physician if you have any concerns. Adverse Reactions The most common adverse reactions associated with palbociclib include neutropenia, fatigue, nausea, leukopenia, anemia, stomatitis, diarrhea, alopecia, and infections. Serious Reactions Less common but more serious adverse reactions include QT prolongation, interstitial lung disease, and hepatotoxicity. It is important to note that this is not an exhaustive list and patients should consult with their healthcare provider for a more complete list of potential adverse reactions. Caution while taking palbociclin. Do not take anything that contains St. John's word. Do not eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice. Contraindications Palbociclib is contraindicated in individuals who have had a previous allergic reaction to the drug. It should also not be used in combination with certain medications, such as strong CYP3A inhibitors. Patients should always discuss their medical history and current medications with their healthcare provider before starting treatment with palbociclib. Administration Palbociclib is administered orally, by mouth in the form of a tablet or capsule. Take along with food. Available in three strengths, 75 mg, 100 mg and 125 mg. It is typically taken once daily, with or without food, as prescribed by a healthcare provider. It is usually taken in combination with another medication, such as letterzole, to treat certain types of breast cancer. 
it is important to follow the dosage and treatment schedule provided by a healthcare provider and to not stop taking the medication without consulting a doctor first if you have not been through the menopause aromatase inhibitors and fulvestrin are suitable for women who have been through the menopause when your periods stop if you have not been through the menopause you will also have treatment to stop your ovaries producing estrogen either temporarily or permanently this is known as ovarian suppression usage during pregnancy and lactation Palbociclib is a prescription medication that is not recommended for use during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. The safety of this medication during pregnancy and breastfeeding has not been established. And it may cause harm to a developing fetus or a breastfeeding infant. Women who are pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, should speak with their healthcare provider before taking Palbociclib. The recommended dose of palbociclib is 125 mg orally once daily for 21 consecutive days, followed by 7 days off treatment, a 21-day cycle. Combination It is usually given in combination with letrozil or fulvestrant. Palbociclib comes as a capsule to take by mouth. It is usually taken with food once daily for the first 21 days of a 28-day cycle. Your doctor will decide how many times you should repeat this cycle. It is important to note that dosing and administration may vary depending on the specific treatment regimen and the individual patient. It is always best to follow the instructions of a qualified healthcare provider. Miss dose, if you miss a dose, skip the missed dose. Take your next dose at the regular time the next day. Do not double the dose to catch up. Palbociclib is typically taken for as long as it is effective in treating a patient's cancer. The duration of treatment can vary depending on the individual case and the patient's response to the medication. It is important to follow the dosing instructions provided by a healthcare professional and to discuss any concerns about the length of treatment with the doctor. Precautions When administering palbociclib, it is important to monitor patients for signs of toxicity such as neutropenia, leukopenia, anemia, thrombocytopenia, and infections. Dose adjustments or interruptions may be necessary if these occur. Patients should also be advised to avoid becoming pregnant or breastfeeding while taking palbociclib. Additionally, it is important to advise patients to avoid taking strong CYP3A inhibitors or inducers, such as certain antibiotics, antifungals, and antidepressants while taking palbociclib as they can affect the metabolism of the drug and alter its effectiveness. Other drugs Yes, there are several drugs that are similar to palbociclib. Some examples include ribociclib, abemaciclib and aranotecin. These drugs are all cyclin-dependent kinase CDK, inhibitors and are used to treat certain types of breast cancer. However, it is important to note that the efficacy and side effects of these drugs may vary and a doctor or oncologist should be consulted to determine the best treatment option for an individual patient. Comparison Palbociclib, ribociclib, abemaciclob, and arenatecin are all cyclin-dependent kinase CDK, inhibitors used to treat certain types of breast cancer, but they may differ in their efficacy and safety profile. Letrozole is an aromatase inhibitor, which means it blocks the enzyme aromatase from converting androgens to estrogens. Postmenopause In postmenopausal women with breast cancer, the majority of estrogen is produced by the conversion of androgens to estrogens in peripheral tissues, such as adipose tissue, using the enzyme aromatase. By inhibiting this enzyme, letrozole reduces the amount of estrogen available to fuel the growth of breast cancer cells that are sensitive to estrogen. This makes letrozole an effective treatment for postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer, as well as adjuvant therapy for postmenopausal women with early stage hormone receptor positive breast cancer. In terms of efficacy, palbociclib has been shown to be effective in extending progression-free survival PFS, in Postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive 
HER2 negative advanced breast cancer when used in combination with letrozole. Ribociclib also has been shown to be effective in extending PFS in postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive. HER2 negative advanced breast cancer when used in combination with an aromatase inhibitor. Abemaciclib has been shown to be effective in extending PFS in premenopausal and postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive. HER2 negative advanced breast cancer when used in combination with an aromatase inhibitor. Regarding safety, all of these drugs can cause side effects, such as neutropenia, low white blood cell count, leukopenia, low white blood cell count, and diarrhea. However, the specific side effect profile and the frequency of these side effects may vary between the drugs. As always, it's important to consult a doctor or oncologist to determine the best treatment option for an individual patient. Use in men. Halbocyclib is a medication that is primarily used to treat certain types of breast cancer in women. Specifically, it is used in combination with other medications to treat hormone receptor positive. Human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 negative, HER2 negative, advanced or metastatic breast cancer. While it is not FDA approved for use in men, some studies have been done to evaluate its use in men with advanced breast cancer. However, more research is needed to determine the safety and effectiveness of halbocyclib in men. Use in other conditions. Halbocyclib is currently approved by the US Food and Drug Administration (FDA) for use in combination with letrozole for the treatment of postmenopausal women with estrogen receptor positive for 2 negative advanced breast cancer. It is also being studied in clinical trials for the treatment of other types of cancer such as non-small cell lung cancer, head and neck cancer, and ovarian cancer. However, it is not yet approved for use in these indications.